Hi, hi! My name is Limbiata and this is my daughter. Um, we are here today on my podcast Coloring Craft to talk about my yarn collection. And today we're going to talk about merino wool. And since I have my helper here, she is... Oh, I can say that a lot of this yarn is intended to uh, knit items to my daughters. So um, I'm going to have some help today on the sideline. Okay, let's start. Um, today I'm just wearing a plain t-shirt, and but I have some jewelry that my daughter made, so I'm feeling pretty anyways. Uh, and yeah, we have to talk about yarn today. So this is my fourth episode. I've been talking about a different kind of yarn every episode, and I need help to sort everything out, so that's why I'm here talking to you guys. Um, I easily get overwhelmed, so this is a good way for me to, yeah, just get it done. Um, so this is mostly, it is commercial merino wool yarn. I have hand dyed yarn and sock yarn, and, which is also merino wool, I'm going to do in another episode. So this is just to keep it simple for me. <laughs> I might be talking a little bit in Norwegian sometimes. Um, uh, with my daughter, but I will also tell what I'm saying in English. And I talk about my yarn as a collection. Um, and I talked a lot about why I'm doing this in my first episode. And also I'm registering everything on Ravelry. My account there is Color and Craft Pod. Okay, so that was all the basics. Uh, I'm looking at, firstly, <laughs> A big bag of yarn. How many is this? 13? Yeah. Uh, this is a very recent purchase. It's Merino 22, extra fine merino wool, non super washed. It's a plain DK, but as you can see, it has a lot of speckles. And I have had this uh, before, and my oldest daughter, she loved it, and she told me. I want a sweater in this yarn, so I managed to get my hands on some more. And this is going to be custom re really soon, because she won it uh, until when she starts school. So that's in a couple of weeks. So uh, this is a keeper. Is it something, Rura? Dina, ska vi ha? I'm moving on. Um, how many? And this is my most recent purchase. It's <laughs> just yesterday, I think. Yeah, I have seven balls of this. Uh, it's called Double Sunday. Mm, pink, no, light purple, it's called. Um, so this is going to be for my youngest daughter, I guess. Um, Kindergarten sweater and accessories. Uh, she's been playing with one of those. So this is also a keeper. Oh, yeah. Um, there. I know there is some yarn that I'm going to let go of, but I'm just picking uh, what I see right now. Uh, two random balls of merino wool. Uh, <laughs> this is... Superwash Merino Wool from Sun is Gone. I bought these on sale. Um, it could be anything. They're actually... This might become a hat with some Merino Wool and this... I, I have a plan. It's going to be used, so keep ring. Behold that? Yeah. Okay. Mm. There is... We're going to keep all of this yarn on the table. Okay, um, also here, more random balls of uh, Double Sunday. Uh, this is the DK. It's uh, two different colors. I guess this is Nature or and this is bleached white. white. So these are also replacements for alpaca wool in uh, some other projects. Um, so yeah, keeping. Also bought on sale. <laughs> Story of my life. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Two red balls. Merino wool. Sanna's gown. Keeping them. This I already knit a little bit from. Also sail yarn. But this is going to become a Santa hat or elf hat for my youngest. Uh, she needs a new one for this Christmas. And yeah, that's another thought I have. I'm thinking of putting my... I have things sorted by uh, yarn, types of yarn right now. Uh, but I think I have to pull some things out. Like the all the yarn that is for my daughters. I, I want them in a separate box so we can look at it together instead of like getting six or seven different boxes. And also one for Christmas related or Easter. Um, so then I can just take that box when it's time for knitting those kind of things. Uh, yeah. Still, still, still. Um, okay. Bag. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> More sail yarn. This is soft merino. It's a uh, yeah, fingering merino, these two. And I have more fingering, like this is the thin merino wool. Same one. Yeah, so I have three of these. I like yellow, my kids like yellow. Lika du? Mm. Yes. Oi. Um. This has been the green one has been in my stash for a longer period of time than these others ever bought this spring. I knit baby garments for my youngest of this yarn and I still have this. Um yeah. Uh I think I'm keeping it for now. I don't know. Uh this was put in a bag this winter because I wanted to knit a neck warmer or a hat or something and that plan fell through, so I'm still debating a little bit. Okay. I have a little mess in my yarn here. Um, okay, so four pink balls of uh, this is also the Sunday, the fingering merino wool uh, from Sunnescon, uh, non superwash. Yeah, it's the Sunday and the double Sunday DK fingering. Um, yeah, it's the same with these soft merino and merino 22 DK fingering. And also, yeah, oh, I can see, uh, merino and thin merino, so same brands, different thicknesses. So, uh, I got these a while back, and uh, I was thinking to knit oh. more, are you tired? <laughs> Is it right? Yeah. Um, Things for my daughters, because uh, I used this uh, yarn for that before, both single and double thread, the knit hats and whatever. Uh, but these, together with these, might become a sweater for my youngest instead. So, keeping. Pin for Yeah. Yeah. I think we have a little palette here. <laughs> Pink Asian purple. Um, so, yeah, recent uh, recently I bought this in June. Kadva. Where you cut, Mama? Even more yarn. So I have six of these merino wool, the DK, um. Yeah, also going to be a sweater for my youngest, I think. Uh, I knit in this yarn a jacket and a 
have two hats actually for my oldest. Uh, I'm sorry if the table is uh, the table is shaking. <laughs> so I'm sorry if the cam camera is shaking as well. Um, yeah. So and my mother-in-law, she um, uh, knit a pair of woolen pants for my youngest for uh, kindergarten, and uh, this is one of the colors in that. So I'm gonna knit that pretty soon, I guess. But the <laughs> it's a cold up, no, no. no, okay. Uh, and so I have more of the green. I think this is a different dye lot than the others. Well, hello there. Hi. Can you find a car next time? Let's talk Oh, okay. I'll put this away. Vi kör stick med duvalt i den. Okej, man går sätta den då. Okej, så this is thin merino wool. And this is called confetti. I guess this is kind of bulky. So fingering and bulky merino wool. From Sona's Garn, these are actually hand dyed, but they are commercial brands, so I'm including them here. My daughter wanted me to talk about this. Hva skal mamma lage av dine, disse? Jeg vil da til den som tykkes den skal være til vinteren i en grønse. A winter sweater, this, but tror du det er nok? Do you think it's enough? Jeg vet ikke. Jeg vet ikke, ok. I think this, uh, I think this has to be a hue or a hals. Yeah, hue or a hals. I think this has to become a, a hat, a beanie or a neck warmer. Yeah. Behold that? Yeah. Yeah, keeping. Is it the prettiest yarn? Is it the finest yarn? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so keeping those. No, Mama. Yeah. More green of thin merino wool. So different dye lot from the others, I guess. Um, I don't know. This might be the first of the bunch that I'm not really. But I do like the green. Oh, it's it's more yellow than on the screen. Similar to my wall, actually. Uh, but I think I'm going to keep this for now. There are other yarns that I'm going to let go of. I think. And also, my daughter said that she wanted me to knit a green beanie for her. Ah, more merino wool. Yeah, this is the same dye lot as the two others. Uh, yeah, so Christmas stuff. <laughs> okay, so now I found some thin fingering and merino wool that's blue. And I don't mind blue, but I don't knit that much with it. And this is very small quantities. It's I have these three from Knitting for Olive, the organic merino, and I wanted to knit with these this yarn for quite a while. So this is the dusty pigeon blue, and this is called dark blue. I don't mind the colors. I I bought this between my babies and I I wasn't intended for baby garments, but then I got a girl and of course the girls can wear blue and everything. It's just that I had a lot of girl kind of knits so I've been using that and so I am debating whether to sell this or keep it for a future baby 
present kind of knit. Um, what do you think? Should I keep or just let it go? Ska vi behålla det så? Ja, men en liten sysu var det gott in med. Okay, she wants to keep it, but she don't like this color. Uh, I kind of agree. <laughs> okay, so thinking about that. And then I have these three, no, five. <laughs> uh these I don't, I don't know the color names it's not turquoise it's i think it's light and dark petrol petroleum or uh, yeah uh, i don't even know if these colors are in sale anymore i also bought this when she was a kid i think i wanted to i was kind of avoiding the pinks at that time <laughs> like all kids can wear all colors but i'm still at least this is not my colors, so I'm not keeping them for me. Lika du? Eller dessa vi ska lägga på? Kan? Vi behöver hålla dessa eller dessa? Vi håller dessa, men inte dina. Okay. She wants to keep the dark blue ones. Yeah. Okay. I think we might let go of these. Mm. And here is one called Baby Panda. This is from uh, Raimagan. This is 100% Merino wool superwash. It's fingering. Gray. I don't mind gray, but it's not for me and my family so much. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and these I'm thinking to sell. Can we sell this? Yeah. Mm, agreed. And this is also knitting for Olive. This is the heavy merino. So this is more like a Aran worsted. Uh, yeah. Rosa le. It's pink. You know, it's not that pink. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these, and I'm also debating selling these because when I do this, can you like best? Which do you like the best? Uh, yeah, we like the vibrant colors <laughs> more than the dusty ones. So that is why I'm thinking about selling. I think this is an, uh, it's more like, it's like a light, it's like a pink beige or powderish color. Um, I think the yarn is lovely. I. I really like knitting for olive. It's not that, but a lot of their colors are very muted and dusted. I haven't really checked their... It's not that easy to come by this yarn here in Norway at the moment. And it's a bit more pricey. That's why I've also bought these on sale. But I am thinking to... Uh... I know this will be easy to sell because a lot of people love this yarn. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about this. Um, it might be something I can knit for my youngest. That was a plan to knit a sweater for my oldest, but I have to, a lot of the smaller items are knit in alpaca wool and I can't have that anymore. So it makes my throat scratch itch. Um, so I'm, I'm keeping them for now, I think, uh, and I'll see how many items I need to go around for kindergarten use. So at least 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 balls, even maybe 14, to sell. Uh, yeah, okay, so we move into the more of the purples. 
Um, oh, that's a different one. Uh, yeah, okay. I have more of Sun is Gone Sunday. This is a very pretty purple. Same one. This is leftovers from projects I made for my older oldest girl. She still wears those a lot. It's a balaclava kind of hat neck warmer together and a neck warmer and a hat. So this might still become Ooh. something. Um, yeah, so absolutely keeping those. I have a single ball here of merino wool and I have five of the same kind in thin merino wool and we like purple. We like a little light, isn't it? Yeah, we like this. So we can behold all of them now. Yeah, we are keeping all of them. And now... I picked some more merino wool. It's also purple, but it's more like a, a um, different sh shade of purple. It's a bit warmer. Uh, so I have this is the DK as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is more like uh, ling, Lisa Merk ling. Uh, what is that in English? I might write it down. Uh, this is bought on sale. This is not. This is enough to make a tiny sweater. We like the color. Have we behold the design? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So um, yeah, I'm. I'm more tempted to keep these than. Yeah. When you put them with the others, it looks dull, doesn't it? In my opinion, that is. Shall we sell this one? Yeah. Yeah, she wants to sell them. I agree. And some more red. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have ten of these. This is pickles, extra fine merino wool. This is like a DK. Um, yeah, so this will go into my Christmas box with the Christmas yarn. I don't have that much, but it's just to make it easier. And then this box will be designated to my daughter's <laughs> pile of yarn. Uh, so this is keeping, I knit um, uh, a dress in this for my oldest in like size three years old, I think. So um, this might be, it could be a dress for my youngest or more Santa hats or yeah, endless possibilities. So keeping. And also I have two bags down here. Um, oh. How many? More purple. This is Sunnest Sunday. I think I have 14. This was discontinued this winter or spring. It's called in Norwegian Passion Blomst, like passion flower. I don't really know, but this is a very warm, rich purple. It's this is more dusty. Yeah, I absolutely adore that purple. This is the light, lighter purple. Yeah. So we have a lot of different purples and pinks here. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think I will talk too much about this uh, other than I'm definitely keeping and this is for myself, I think. Um, yeah. One colorful bag. <laughs> This is from another yarn haul that I had last autumn, I guess, and I haven't really had a place to put them, so I kept them in this bag for almost a year. 
I did buy some other yarn as well. It was like a bag sale. <laughs> yeah, and of course, pinks and purple. Lika du? Yeah. Yeah, she likes them. Uh, I think she told me that it was the most pretty color she had ever seen. Fina Stefagen? Yes. Yes. And also this is the same. This is the DK and this is the fingering. So I have us for sweaters for my both of my girls in this. And this could be at least one from me. And two. Yeah, a lot. Eight, I think, of these. Uh, it's a whole bag, so yeah, you get the. <sighs> okay, so I need to start knitting for kindergarten and school. Uh, first, first but foremost, it's going to be. I, I'm going to cast on this one. And then maybe the sweater I planned in these. It's going to be a stripey kind of thing with a unicorn on. And since this is fingering and I like knit on needle three and I have to go down half a needle size. I think two years size is what I'm going to stretch <laughs> my, my fingering knitting capabilities. So I have to get started. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for um, for uh, another episode with uh, hand dyed yarn or sock yarn or some Norwegian wool treasures. Um, so I think, yeah, maybe at least 15 balls out of this lot today. No, it's even more, 20 balls. Did I do good? Uh, Mama with flink? Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Okay. See you soon.